we've just seen a really large earthquake, a magnitude 8.8, .8, um, occur off the eastern coast of Russia near the Kamchatka Peninsula. That earthquake has meant that there's been tsunami warnings being issued all across the Pacific Ocean. This is the largest earthquake that's occurred in the region since 1952 and one of the biggest that we've ever seen on instrumental record. I'm Dr Amy Gilligan, a seismologist in the School of Geosciences at the University of Aberdeen. Earthquakes happen mostly when two tectonic plates move past one another. In this case, it's the Pacific plate that's going down into the Earth's mantle beneath the North American plate. Earthquakes happen when these plates, they're moving towards each other and then suddenly they slip. It causes the seabed to move up and that movement of the seabed means that the water above it also moves up and this generates tsunami waves. In the open ocean, this might only mean that the sea's height changes by a few centimetres. But as these tsunami waves approach the shore, they, they slow down and the water behind them piles up, generating waves metres high. Earthquakes of this size are relatively rare. Um, typically we'd expect on average a 1 magnitude 8 earthquake a year. This is a magnitude 8.8. .8. To put it in perspective, the kind of size of this earthquake, a magnitude 2 earthquake in Scotland, where we don't really have many earthquakes, would make the news. This earthquake is almost 10 million times um, bigger. When earthquakes happen, we might expect to see aftershocks. With an earthquake of this size, we might expect them to be quite large, and we've already seen a magnitude 6.9 um, aftershock happening in the region. And because it's such a big earthquake, you might expect these aftershocks to go on for a long period of time. Unfortunately, we can't predict when and where exactly earthquakes will occur. We know the kind of regions where we might expect them, and we have historical records um, to understand what's happened in the past. We can study the processes that happen when earthquakes do happen. Um, this is what seismologists do, and try and better understand what might happen when they occur. For certain types of earthquakes, we can anticipate that a tsunami might be generated and therefore we can issue warnings um, across regions that might be expected to have them. There's buoys that will be on the ocean bottom so they can detect how the, the water column is moving um, and they can give people warning for when a tsunami might hit. Unlike earthquakes, we have a bit more time with tsunamis, maybe a few hours, to help people get to higher ground and evacuate and put infrastructure in place to help mitigate the worst of the effects.